Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. So, I have been doing a declutter series on my channel on Mondays right now. I usually do vlogs Mommy Mondays, but right now I am doing a declutter series because I have too much makeup. I need to get rid of some stuff. Some of it's getting old. Some of it I just don't reach for, so why should I have it, you know? I'm sick of being a makeup hoarder. So, uh, last week we did lipsticks, and this week we're going to do lip liners and lip glosses, just because I didn't want to put all of the lip products in one video, because it would be way too long. So, today's going to be glosses and lip liners. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's jump into it. Okay, so here are all of my lip glosses. I have 59 full-size glosses, and then I have um, three in a pot, and then I have a Maybelline lip, like a lip gloss palette, um, and then I do have five little bitty minis. So like I did with my lipstick declutter, I'm gonna just immediately get rid of these five minis. And these are lip glosses. They're the LA Colors Lip, what is it called? Lip Glaze, Lip Paint. And I have six of those. And then I also have this in this little squeezy tube. It is by the brand I Love Makeup, and it's called the Lip Lava. I am going to declutter all of these. I feel like these are probably on the verge of being expired, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter all of those. So the next thing we can touch on while we're at it is the Maybelline Lip Gloss Palette. This came out about a year ago, I think, and I really do love the first three colors of it, and I actually like having this in a palette just in case I'm doing like someone's makeup or maybe to travel with it might be nice to have all those options so I am I'm gonna keep that and then for these three in the pot this is my newest one it's the by Terry um, Balm de Rose and this one's in the color Coral Stellar so it is you know, it does have a tint to it. This is amazing. You can see how much I've used it. So I'm gonna keep this. Um, this I got, where did I get this? Somewhere that you wouldn't think they had makeup. Where was it? Um, it's just a tinted lip balm and I've barely used any of it. I'm gonna pass this on um, because I don't like them in pots. It has to be like an amazing formula for me to keep a pot but um this one is in a pot and it's an amazing formula it's the nars lip balm in chelsea curls this is just a staple you guys i'm about halfway done with it but i'm de definitely going to keep it you can't even get it in a pot anymore i don't think but i really like the formula it's the lip lacquers okay so on to some lip glosses actually before i had these two and i didn't really know what category to put these in. This is the YSL Lip Oil, and it's in the number three, I believe. Um, I think it's Pink About You. Anyway, it's a really pretty lip oil. I leave this at my desk, and I apply it all day, every day, so I definitely love that, and I'm keeping that. And then I have this Lancome Juicy Shaker, which is essentially the same thing as that YSL, but it is kind of a coral color. The only thing about these is, see how it's separating already? I guess if you shake it up, it's just as good. Maybe that's why it's called a Juicy Shaker, but I'm gonna keep this because I really do love it. Now this, nobody ever talks about this, and you guys, this is one of the most banging lip glosses in the world. It's by Laura Geller, and it is called City Lights. I don't want to swatch everything. I know I've been saying that in all these declutters, but this this is just the most beautiful topper and it smells like cake batter it smells so good it was a topper way before like Jouer skinny dip and all that it's amazing it really is amazing people 
you need this. I'm keeping that for sure. Now this one I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. This is a Smashbox gloss and it's in the color Pout. It's just really way too nude for me. So I'm going to declutter that. I have two Chanel glosses that I love. I used to have another one but I lost it. This one is in 191 and I believe this was limited edition and this is in 206 and um, I'm gonna keep both of these. This is a beautiful formula. Now this is a Tardis Glossy Lip Paint. So this is a gloss and it's in the color Hella. Whoa, when I first got this, I was hella obsessed with it. Ooh, it is so good. Can you see that? It's so pretty. I need to, I need to use these again. Um, or you need to use this one again. It's so pretty. I'm going to keep it. Now this one was too much money. It was, it's the L'Oreal, no, Lancome Gloss in Love Gloss. And it kind of like pops open and it's kind of a fancy little tube and wand. Um, it's in the color one, no, 391 gloss in love in 391 why do none of these have names anyway i'm going to declutter this one i think this is almost expired and i just never reach for it this is an all may gloss and it is in the color 770 cantaloupe my girlfriend darcy sent this to me um and i think i you know what i reach for this a lot in the summertime so i am going to keep this as well as the next one, this is a Dose of Colors lip gloss and it's in the color Undressed and it is a gorgeous nude gloss. Um, it's just so highly pigmented and it goes over a nude lip. You can even, it's so pigmented that you can wear this alone. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. And then I have a few MAC lip glosses here. Um, I know, let's see, let's go through those. This is Date Night, which is gorgeous over MAC Lipstick and Rebel. This is so pretty. It has some glitter in it and it's, oh, it's beautiful. I love that. I'm keeping that. This is another really pretty one. It's called Talk Sexy and this goes over, I use this in the fall time. It's just a really pretty purple dark deep purple so i'm gonna keep that this one i'm going to declutter it's the lip glass in viva glam nikki 2 and i did declutter this lipstick as well so i'm gonna go ahead and pass this on this is one of my favorites i heard about it for literally years before i finally bought it it's oyster oyster girl the lip glass and it just it gives your lips so much dimension over any, any, any color of lipstick. But my favorite combo is with MAC Snob and then Oyster Girl on top. Now this, um, I'm going to keep that. This one I'm going to declutter. I kept a couple of the lipsticks from this Archie Girls collection. This is in the color Kiss and Don't Tell. I just don't reach for this color much and I don't want to continue to keep stuff just because of the limited edition packaging. So I am going to declutter this. I have two NYX Butter Glosses. This one is in Apple Strudel and then Peaches and Cream is this one. I much prefer Peaches and Cream. So I think I'm just gonna keep Peaches and Cream and then get rid of Apple Strudel. This, um, I don't reach for a ton of corals, so there's really no need. I am keeping a couple of other coral glosses, so I don't need a million. So I'm gonna declutter that one. This one I'm definitely gonna declutter as well. It's an OCC Lip Tar. And it's in the color Black Metal Dahlia. Now, I love, love, love this color. It's so beautiful. It is, oh, I don't think I can declutter it. I was going to declutter it just because of the fact that this does bleed outside your, your lip lines. But, man, I just don't think I can declutter it. So, I'm going to keep this one and keep trying with it. Um, this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss. For some reason, I thought I had a couple more of these, but I don't see them. So maybe I just had one. And this is in the color Kristen. And this is another super highly pigmented gloss. And these are rather new to my collection. So I am going to keep this one in Kristen. And then this is a Camp Cosmetics gloss. And it is in the color... 
Million Dollar Mama. It's a very interesting color and um, just, I, I don't know. It's kind of almost too like coppery for my lips and I never really could find the right makeup look to wear with it so I am going to declutter this one. I think maybe this is a better angle. These are, the next three are the Maybelline. These are the color Elixirs. And this one is in the color Fuchsia Flourish. This one is in the color Petal Plush, which is my favorite. And then this one is in the color Rose Redeemed redefined so I'm gonna keep rose redefined and then this one and I'm gonna get rid of this fuchsia one just because I don't really reach for a lot of fuchsia glosses if I'm gonna wear fuchsia it's gonna be a lipstick to where I don't have to like worry about it moving around you know now of all of the lip glosses I own this formula right here the Sephora collection lip glosses are hands down my favorite I started out with this one in bubblegum, which is a bubblegum pink, keeping that for sure. This one, which is in nude alert. I don't know why I looked because I know just these are gel lip glosses. Just the formula. Are you kidding me? It's such a good price point. You get a lot of product. The packaging is beautiful and it's just a good formula. Now this one was limited edition. It's in the color Queen Bee and it's another one of those glittery kind of top coat lipsticks. Amazing, I'm keeping that for sure. This is a Marc Jacobs gloss. I am gonna get rid of this. I think this was like a 100 point perk or 500 point. It's in the color Shooting Stars. I'm going to pass on this for some reason. You can see the trend. Like I said, if I'm gonna wear a dark lip or a bold lip, it's probably not gonna be with the lip gloss. If that just, it worries me, you know? Before I move on, I found another um, Sephora gloss, and this is in Fresh Peach, and this is actually the one that I started with, that started the obsession, because look at this peach lip gloss. Holy smokes, I really, really hope that it's picking up all that dimension. You guys need these Sephora glosses. They're amazing. Moving on, I have 11 small buxom um, lip glosses, and then I do have one big one, and this one's in the color Samantha, I believe. Yes, Samantha, I'm gonna keep that one. That one's my favorite, but I don't need all these. So let me, I don't wanna go through all of them. This one in Cherry Flip, this one in Sweet Thing. Oh, that one's pretty. This really, really dark one in Cur Royale. And let's get rid of one more. I don't know. Are these the same? No. See, this is like my color genre right here. So I can probably get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is in the color Cur Royale. I had two of those. Is this one that too? No. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of four of these mini buxom glosses, and then I'm gonna keep the other ones, because I do, it's probably one of my favorite formulas as well. So I'm gonna keep those. For whatever reason, I have two of these marvelous Moxie lip glosses in the color Maverick. I'm going to declutter them. I'm not sure how I acquired two of the same, and I think they're both unused, so I'm not even gonna swatch them. I am going to also declutter this Lorac gloss in the color Tiara. It is really pretty, but I have enough glosses that color, and that wasn't my favorite, favorite formula. This is an It Cosmetics gloss. I really love this one. It is the lit, what was it called? The Vitality Butter Gloss, and this one's a Naturally Pretty. I'm gonna keep this because it's a perfect, like, kind of throw on your lips and run out the door kind of shade. You know, you don't really necessarily need a mirror. They're super hydrating, but it does give you a little bit of color, so I'm gonna keep that one. I have a couple of NARS lip glosses. This one's in Orgasm and this one's in Turkish Delight. I just can't get rid of these. I love both of these and I think that these are just like pretty holy grail. I love both of those glosses. I need to use them more. Now I used to have four or five of these Dior Attic lip glosses. They're kind of marketed as a lip gloss, a highly pigmented lip gloss slash I don't know, lipstick, but my problem with these, they're beautiful, but 
it is such an overwhelming smell of like perfume. I'm going to declutter both of those. The other few that I had, I gave to my sister and she enjoyed them. So I'm going to give those to her as well. I'm going to pass on this Julep gloss. You know, Julep, I used to get like their monthly subscription for their um, nail polishes, but sometimes they would throw in a makeup item. I don't like that formula that much though. This is an e.l.f. gloss, and this one is in the color Scott, and I think this is one of the dollar ones, and if you see it, you need to get it for a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, how much ever it is, because look at that. That looks so similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in Kristen. Maybe not as dark, but the actual pigmentation and the formula feels so similar, so save your money and get the e.l.f. one. Um... Okay, I have a few that I know I'm going to be decluttering, so I'll just put all these together. This is one of the baby lips. It was the, Brill I don't know what these were called. It was the baby lips, but the lip gloss formula. It's another one of those toppers. Um, but I like this Laura Geller one a lot more, and it kind of does the same thing. So I'm going to pass on this baby lips. This Laura Mercier, I don't think I ever used this. It looks way too yellowy nude. It almost looks like a concealer, right? Is this a concealer? It's in the color Bare Naked. Nope, it's a gloss. So weird. I don't like the color, though. I think it was, like I said, a free gift or something. Now, this is the CoverGirl Lip Lava. And this one is in, I don't remember what color this is. And this is one of those that don't say the color. But it's kind of the peachy tone one. This is so beautiful. It has so much shimmer in it, so I've got to keep it. You know what? It says it on the top. It's in the color 800. Confident, I believe, is the color, but it is so pretty. Hopefully, you guys can see the amount of like shimmer and dimension it gives, so I'm going to keep that one. This one is the Butter London Lippy, and it's in the color... Um, Yummy Mummy. This is one of my favorite lip glosses ever. It goes well with like Bites, Bite Beauty's Kava lipstick or MAC Stone Liner and Stone Lipstick. Colors like that, kind of more cool tone nudes. So I'm definitely going to keep that. That smells like cake batter as well. And then this is the lip gloss by Laura Geller. And it's in the color Coffee A Lot. And I'm going to pass on that. I'm pretty sure I haven't ever used that. So I'm going to pass that on. Only so the last four, I'm going to keep all four of these. This is an Urban Decay in Naked. This one is the Marc Jacobs gloss. And it's in the color Sugar Sugar. Which I got another one of these glosses. And I wasn't a huge fan. But this one is so beautiful. It has a little bit of... Um, it has a lot of sheen. It reminds me a lot of the... Dose of Colors Undressed, but it's a really good formula. I like that color specifically. And then these two Lorac glosses, which I actually like the formula of these better than this one that I decluttered. I, I think that this one that I decluttered was part of like a Christmas set or something, and it was just a different formula. These are the Alter Ego lip glosses and Secret Agent and Goddess, and they're both beautiful. So let me get a count and in inventory of all this stuff and I will be right back. Okay, so the top row is the things that I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of five of the sample size, one in the pot, and then 28 full size, which I know a couple of these are more sample size, but I didn't know how to count it. So there's 28 glosses that I'm getting rid of plus the five samples and the one in the pot, which leaves me with 39 lip glosses and then two in a pot and that palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter and I will talk to you soon. Bye.